Hello friends, we are up bright and early this morning. I had to kind of wake myself up at, well, seven o'clock is when I woke up. I probably woke up at 5.30 as well. <laughs> I had to get up and shower this morning because I didn't get a chance to last night. Um, Chelsea has a pediatrician appointment and we are going to talk to her about Ash, Chelsea's ears. There's nothing wrong with them right now. <laughs> We're, and I hope that the doctor doesn't think that this is a super weird thing for me to do, but I'm trying to be proactive and preventative um, for Chelsea's ears for our trip to Hawaii. I have a few ideas of how to um, help Chelsea's ears ahead of time and also how to prevent it ourselves, like little homeopathic me methods. I've already talked to my, I'm trying to open this. <laughs> Thing right here I do have extra gallon size baggies that's gonna go in our bag for Hawaii um, I have talked to my sister who is a nurse um, and she's also getting her NP right now and my dad who is a pediatrician but since my dad hasn't had a license for a long time he didn't feel comfortable like definitely saying for sure what she should do so I'm just gonna go and talk to the doctor um, decide if these are the things that we want to do and um, Possibly even with a phone call away being able to get a prescription while we're in Hawaii if her ears do cause a problem. I'm kind of hoping that CVS to CVS we can send that um, prescription even across two different states. Ooh, holy curly hair. Did she do Dutch braids or regular braids? Oh, she did Dutch, do Dutch. I haven't even taken off the other side yet. Wow, look at that. You have so much hair. I know. Kaylee has... Not late start, you don't have first period. So we have three kiddos here this morning. Um, anyway, so we're gonna go meet with the doctor and then I'll take her to school. Um, but we'll go and get Chelsea or Ashley off to the bus first off. I have wanted to clean out this little, oh gosh. Maybe I should do this without the camera, hang on. Okay, so that's better, much better. I'm, I'm totally hooked on having this little box from Target and it lasts me a couple months like I don't even know the last time I did it so that's worth it this one's gonna do her chore Kaylee did hers last night got this new bread at Costco I liked it we're talking about this little note Kaylee made she's on um, loading dishes now you eat it you eat off it you load it that's how you do it and Ashley's like uh that would have helped when I did dishes but I, it doesn't happen all the time yeah. And why doesn't it happen all the time? Because a lot of people don't do it. Well, no, because if this isn't unloaded from being clean, then they can't load it. Can't load it. But we have it on. This is actually dirty. We're going to put that like that. I actually did start it. Did it not start? It did. Okay, we're heading out to Ashley's bus stop. And then I'll come back and get Chelsea. Come on, Boo. She's just kidding. What? I used to teach third grades for two months, but now I know. I'm not doing it. You're not doing it? I'm not doing it again. Oh, oh, she's on recess coaching today, and she had the third grade class, and she's like, I'm not doing that again. I need a different class. They didn't follow the rules very well. I'm going to put you down while we go to the bus stop, and then we'll back to, we will be back to take Chelsea. So we're at her appointment and I forgot that she hasn't done her booster shot or her flu shot because when we went to the pharmacy and got the rest of us finished, they said that she wanted, they wanted her to get it done with a pediatrician, um, just to what, check weight, height, it's just, she's on the brink of like moving from kid to, you know, adult, adult not adult, but like whatever. The 13 year is the, where they start to get to have more privacy with the doctor. Anyway. Um, and I was like, okay, we, we need to go ahead and do those today. And she's like, perfect timing because I'm going to get out of doing PE. I'm like, no, there's no excuse for not doing it. You have to push up and plank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it, if your arm is hurting, I mean, you can tell him. Yeah. Like if it isn't hurting, don't fake it. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> I know. But if your arm does hurt, it would be really painful to do the push-ups. Well, and plank. And plank. So we'll yeah. see. Yeah. When is PE? Well, We're not gonna miss it, are we? Most likely. Is it second period? Yeah. Oh, so you might actually miss it anyway. Yeah. So you're lucky. But we still have it all this week. 
Oh, well, that's not gonna get you out of it this week then. Yeah, it won't. No, it won't. <laughs> no, it won't. Yeah. I love our pediatrician. <laughs> Tozy and I are talking. We're like, we got like so much from this appointment and she's not even sick. And Ashley's not even here, but oh my goodness sakes. Let me, I kind of need to get her back to school. But we'll talk about her ear really quick while she's here. Um, I love talking about ears. You love talking about ears? You love talking about things to prevent your ears from getting sick. So the doctor, she was like, like we explained it to the nurse um, and while we, while we, why we were here. Yeah. And, and her pediatrician came in and she was like I, know. I understand you guys so well she's like it's so satisfying to me as a doctor to know that like I have a relationship with you guys that I trust you and you trust me to come to me before you have a problem preventative health care and like she's like that you that we have that kind of uh, you know rapport like, with each other before was like oh it's a it's a before thing yeah and all of a sudden our actual doctor came in she's like oh okay whatever yeah yeah, yeah. It's done. and and she was like yeah 100 percent so not only am i going to order some swimmers ear um drops. drops to put in her ear and i showed her some that i have seen on amazon that i was going to get and she was like no let me have your phone and she was like duh, 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 duh. she's like order that one <laughs> and i was like you're the yeah. best and then so that's going to be every time you get in the water we're going to spray those ear drops in after she gets out and then she is going to, you know, clear the water out and then she's gonna use a Q-tip to really make sure that the ear is dried well, out. because we're gonna use a blow dryer to like... And use a blow dryer. Um, the ear drops have an alcohol base to it so that it will dry out the ear canal right there where it's built up. Um, and then, and she likes, the doctor likes that I understand like the medical portion of this. I was like, we just need to figure out how to dry the ear out. And anyway, and, but I just didn't know how to do that. And so. Well, it's normally because Grandpa helps tell Yeah, you know, my dad helps me, but he hasn't done he actual, like, like you know, ear care for, for patients for years. 20 years. So, well, 15 years. But anyway, um, so we're going to do that. But then she went ahead and prescribed um, an actual antibiotic ear drop. Um, not full antibiotics, not oral antibiotics, but an antibiotic ear drop. She said, if the ear gets pain in it that is turning into a bacterial infection you haven't cleared all the water out of it and then it grows in into an infection but the ear drop antibiotics will knock it on its butt and you start using that the second you have ear pain and we aren't going to get in the water and submerge the ears if there's ear pain until that ear pain is gone use the drops for the full week um, but then she can still swim as soon as there's no ear pain, she can swim and submerge um, and go forward. And I just, fantastic. I'm so happy with this doctor. My battery's flashing and I don't know if I have a new one. <laughs> so I'm gonna take her to school and I'll be back with you to talk about Ashley. I love my Okay, <laughs> so she went and got cinnamon roll and it turns out <laughs> it's burnt cookies. Burnt cookies. <laughs> Not even cookies, just burnt ones. Just burnt ones. They put burnt ones in a cinnamon roll thing. Mm, oh my true. goodness. So now we're turning around. That was her little treat for um, going to the doctor. Okay. I'm going to explain this. Hi. Well, I just came through and we got a cinnamon roll for my daughter. Um, but it turns out it's four burnt cookies. <laughs> How many? No, we and we came through two minutes ago, and we got we ordered a cinnamon roll. Oh yeah, okay. Come in, in the second window, please. Thank okay, you. okay. How many? Like I don't want more burnt. Cookies. I don't want more burnt cookies. <laughs> I want a cinnamon roll. <laughs> it's gonna be a while. All right, before I pull out, <gasps> it is. It is. Or they cookies. were laughing with us. You could hear them go back into the back and talk about it and everyone just started laughing so that's a really warm one wow very fresh and not burnt that's a good thing all right i've been on the phone with my dad sitting here in the target parking lot for probably like half hour to 45 minutes um great conversation with him giving him an update on all of his little grandkids and how they're all doing um but let me finish with you about the update with ashley 
I was able to quickly ask her, I said, I know that this isn't Ashley's appointment and I have a follow-up appointment with her virtually next week with you, but she's not doing well. And I quickly kind of went over a very brief description of what our week has looked like. And again, she said, I just have to reiterate that I appreciate that we have a relationship, that we have been together for so many years and that I trust you and you trust me to bring this information to me, even outside of an appointment. She said, it's because I know Ashley. It's because I knew who she was nine years ago, eight years ago, seven years ago, six years ago, to know that she's not okay now, just because you're telling me so. She said, I trust what you're saying because I trust you. I, I'm like, we've had so long to get to know each other and, and as a relationship with doctor patient and doctor mother, um, she said, I fully trust that what you're telling me is true and I don't like that Ashley is going through it like that. Um, she said, the only thing I can, I'm gonna suggest right now is the dose I gave her for her medication is the lowest that we start kids out at. And she said, we do that out of precaution. We always start low, but it's clearly not enough. And so we have changed the dose, <laughs> it's double. We're doubling her dose for the next week until we meet with her virtually next week. I'm, I've gotta figure out if Ashley needs to be at that appointment or not. I'm assuming she does to kind of give the doctor a feedback on how she's feeling. But she said, that'll give us a week. She's like, I, it just breaks my heart just like as a mom to think she would even have to go one more week on the current dose that she's on and have to have another hard week. She said, there's no reason for that just because I can't like, actually talk to you about it at this appointment right now with Chelsea here. She said, I can double her. I mean, I don't even need to change anything. You can literally just give her two pills. Like she has the medication, just give her two pills. I'll document it that she's going to do this for the week and then we'll go from there. And then if she has to call in a new prescription with that actual double dose so that we have enough pills to get through, then she's like, then I will do that. And that will be like the actual appointment. But like, there's no point in Ashley suffering for this week. Um, and there's, and going forward as well, but especially this week before we actually like have an appointment. So I just, it's just was a fantastic morning with her and Ashley did so well going to school today. Um, I was kind of on pins and needles. I just kind of silently went through all the motions of her going to school this morning. And we talked, um, till late last night um, and what she could do today to make it better and I think she listened. I think she like not only listened to me but listened to herself. Like I can get myself in a mindset to do this even though I don't want to and I think she just, she owned it this morning. She also planned to invite a friend to go to her activity at the church tonight. They're playing Human Hungry Hippos. <laughs> so fun. Um, but anyway, so she's good. We're gonna double her dose tonight and see if we can get her a little bit better over the week. Um, but I did just get here at Target these um, ear drops for Chelsea. Um, Oxo, uh, oh, I don't know how to say it. I'm not gonna try and figure it out. But she's going to use these every time she comes out of the pool. Every time she comes out of the ocean. She's gonna put these drops in, blow dry her ear, Q-tip it, dry it out, and, and she should be good to go. She said, I. the doctor told me, she's like, if you do this like religiously, I really doubt you'll need the actual antibiotic prescription that she's already, no, this is, no, this is the antibiotic prescription. I just got that all wrong. This is the antibiotic prescription we will have to use if she gets ear pain, but it's the one I'm gonna order on Amazon that will be preventative and probably likely not have to use this. But she likes that I'm gonna take this with me. She also told me, you need to follow up with me when you get home because this is such useful information for me as a doctor. I can tell all my patients that have ear problems um, and swimmer's ear before they go on these vacations. I can do this for them. I need to know if this regimen works because so, then I can do this. And I was telling my dad about it too and he's like, fantastic. He's like, I loved learning about that kind of stuff from patients as I had a practice and like, what can I do to, you know, make, be a better doctor? What can we do to prevent kids from getting sick? Yes, we have to like take care of them when they do get sick, but like, if we can prevent it, let's prevent it. 
fantastic day so far. Polar opposite from yesterday. I don't even know what I'm doing the rest of the day because I'm on such a high with everything going so well. So, gotta just keep on this little path. Maybe I'll go home and walk even though I just showered. <laughs> I should just use this motivation. So, we'll see. All right. I've kind of lost a lot of my afternoon. It's already 2.30. I've been on the phone with a friend of mine. Before that, I was on the phone with Jason. So I've kind of lost my day. I was going to do a lot of veggie prep. I was gonna cut up almost all, actually I was gonna cut up all of my peppers. I bought a new bag yesterday. This is the last from the previous bag. I was gonna dice a whole bunch up in just like these little chunks. Cause you guys, I came to the fridge just now and I'm like, ooh, do I get a snack? Or do I get like something healthy? And having this like this, it's like done. I can have some cottage cheese, some of this, some dip, and I feel a lot better about the snack that I wanna have. <laughs> so I need to prep, and then I'm also gonna do some diced up really small to put in my chaffles, to put into tacos or salads or things like that. But I think I'll do that when I'm prepping dinner instead. We'll see, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But I had a hunkering the other day for my weird childhood cottage cheese jello. So when I was at Target today, getting that prescription, I got some some Cool Whip. I knew I already had jello. I got cottage cheese yesterday and then they didn't have Cool Whip at Costco. So I know it's a strange dessert. It's just really good. And I actually wish I had pineapple to go with it because I had pineapple. This is what it looks like before I mix it all up. Usually I have a bigger bowl, but I want one with a lid on it. Finally have one with a lid. But I just had a hungering for this Jello. But like I said, I've been on the phone, spent an hour in the parking lot at Target with my dad. My dad, you guys, you, <laughs> my dad is so cute. I, I, maybe I'll ask his permission to share it. I don't have a great video. My, ja my dad has joined a little orchestra. So he played the vi viola in high school, college, and that's where he met my mom. My mom played the cello in their college orchestra and that's how they met and they fell in love and then they never played again. Outside of college, they never played their instruments again. My mom had kids right away, eight of us, that just, it just never happened. A couple months ago, my dad had a hunkering to learn how to play the vi viola again. I should put um, sugar-free jello in next time so it's a little bit more guilt-free. I mean, come on, it's just good. I don't know how he found it. He joined a little orchestra and he goes to practices, like his practices tomorrow night, but he had a concert last night, the first concert. And get this, his instructor, his teacher for this little orchestra is my old high school orchestra teacher. How fitting is that? She also knows my brother who is a band teacher in a local high, a local middle school there. So she knows my brother. I, it's just so fun to know that um, like all these connections brought me to my, brought my dad to playing the viola again. And he's just so happy about it. And he's learning how to edit music and, and scores of music to make it easier for himself. He bought an iPad so he can have an iPad on his music stand. He's like, people do music differently now. And it's just fun to see him so happy. And he's just so giddy that he's learning how to play the um, viola again. He's like, I need to find things like this. I need to occupy my time in creative ways and that can't just be his engineering medical mind. He's like, I need to use my mind for this. And he's like, I think I'm gonna take up um, painting again. I used to paint. My great grandma, his grandma was an absolute artist. And he's like, I think I need to pick that up again. I need to have creativity in my life in different, you know, different areas. But I'm gonna go back to editing a video and enjoying some quiet time before the chitlins get home. Cause we have activities tonight. I won't have my free time. I'm just having a few peppers. I might grab some blueberries and we'll be back. Major change in plans. I have been talking to my, fr my friend on the phone and my editing software, my iMovie, took an hour to reopen. It had turned off, you know all that jazz. So I had just gotten editing the current, today's current video and Chelsea had come home from school and it was at the part where we were looking at her uh, burnt cookies. <laughs> We just both had a good laugh about it. And then my friend started texting me and the one I was supposed to go get pedicures with, hi Stacy, <laughs> she watches these videos, and she was like, get down here. I'm here, I'm available, I have time, and I wanna get our nails done. Can you come down right now? And I was like, mm, yeah, I'm in the car. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. So she's sitting down there waiting for me. 
It's just that the stars have aligned. We both have time today. I don't have kids with work schedules tonight. I just have to get back in time to take them to their church activities. But I've got three and a half hours, plenty of time. So I'm gonna race down. And I almost cut my toenails last night or the night before. And I was like, don't do it, don't do it. Wait till they can do it for you. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, you know what happens when you go and get your nails done with a friend? <laughs> you just talk the whole time and you forget to film. And that's the way it should be. My feet look really cute and um, bright pink. They're not as hot pink as I'm going to do them for Hawaii, but they are um, nice. My friend was, able, was willing to give me the premium pedicure. I've never had that done before. I really wish I had filmed it because it was such a process. I had hot rocks and they wrapped my foot in this bag of I don't even know what it was. It was absolutely glorious. Um, I don't know, lots of massaging going on. Also, it's your feet, and you have to pay for feet, so. Um, anyway, I thank you to my friend who did that for me today. I'm very grateful, and then we sat and talked for probably an hour in her car, and again, it's very needed. We had a lot to talk about, something that we're both going through, um, and thinking about, um, I haven't really said anything about it here. I will eventually, um, but she's like my one person, one or one of two people that I can really talk to about this. Um, and it's just nice to have someone that gets you and um, understands the struggles that you're going through and um, she's that person. So very, very, very fun. Um, but now I have to go home and be a mom and get everyone to their activities after getting them dinner. Um, I don't know what dinner is gonna be. Abby probably will have that garlic pasta. I'm trying to let her have it. One, because I shouldn't have pasta and two, because it's been hard to get. So I think I'm gonna let her have that and I'll make something else for Jason and I for dinner. Um, but then I have to go sit at the church for an hour and a half waiting for the kids to finish with their activities. So. All right, I've had dinner. Ashley and Chelsea had dinner. And we are heading to their activity. But something just happened to Ashley that I'm gonna let you, I'll let her tell you. I guess she's in the bathroom. Hey Ashley, you wanna tell them what happened? What? She's coming. Lots of tooth. <laughs> That's it. That's all you get from her. Well, yeah, she was eating a bagel and she's like, oh, my tooth popped out. It was yeah. just loose for like a day or two. Um, so yeah, she just lost a tooth. Abby, we'll see you later, okay? Bye. Jason's gonna stay late and get our um, accounting books as close to closed as he can. We gotta get our tax information <laughs> sent to our accountant. And he's like, I only have a few more like weeks of being able to stay late and get this kind of stuff done. So, because I'm gonna sit in the car and do absolutely nothing but scroll TikTok for the next hour and a half, after I spend a half hour driving around picking up kids, Ashley's bringing a friend, um, I'm gonna end it with you. It's a good day, it's a successful day with the doctor. Very happy we have her in our life and in our corner. Um, Ashley is gonna take her double dose tonight and uh, Fingers crossed, we're getting this figured out. It's hard, but I'm willing to like stick it out because I know we can get her the help that she needs. So thank you for joining us, supporting us, and we'll see you guys next time. Good night. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.